High Plains Technology says it's time for school. It is time for school with High Plains Technology Center. We have Katie, Shirley, and a guest in this morning. How's it going? Good. How are you, Branson? I'm good. I'm glad to be back. Today, I brought with me our financial aid director, Michelle Ketcherside. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. (laughs) Thank you so much for joining me. And so we're going to talk all things financial aid today. So how long um, have you been out at High Plains Technology Center? I've been at High Plains for 13 years, and I've been in financial aid for 11. 11. Okay. So what roles were you in before that position? When I first started, I was a receptionist. Uh Uh-huh. Out at the very front mm -hmm, where Anita is? Yes. And then I split my time between the admin assistant Uh receptionist and the biz department. Okay. And then went full-time biz. Wow. And yes. then to financial aid director. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. So what time, uh, what types of aid are available for our students that, for any student that wants to attend High Plains? The main one is the, the Pell Grant, which is what you qualify for through the FAFSA, which you fill out online through the, a government site. Okay. And we have um, all this on our website, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. Okay. It's all on the... F- Financial Finan- aid pa- web- yes, page, yes. Okay, so are Pell Grants and FAFSA the same thing? You com- you complete your FAFSA, which qualifies you for the Pell Grant. Okay. So the FAFSA is the free application for federal student aid. Okay, and then you said that qualifies, for- qualifies you for the Pell Grant. Yes, Okay. and it, Pell Grants are like, how many is in your home? Income based. Okay. So not everybody qualifies for right. pale. And now, when we're talking about these um, options, are these for adults only or high school students? High school seniors by their senior year, October 1 in the state of Oklahoma, should have already completed their FAFSA. FAFSA. Yes. Okay. Do they already automatically do FAFSA? Or is this only if they're looking to go to? High Plains or just college in general? I think every senior should do it, whether okay. they think they're going to go on to any sort of higher ed or not. Uh-huh. Just so they're aware of And just of so option. it's, so if they decide because they changed their mind, uh-huh. it's already completed. Yes. Okay. Um, so is financial aid available for students in the short-term evening program? It is not. Okay. Financial aid is only for courses that are over 600 hours, okay. seat hours. So our full-time day programs and including WinTech and yes. practical nursing. Yes. Okay. There's a few of our daytime classes that do not qualify. We just have a small amount that are less than. Okay. And so those are the um, those are the guidelines of who pretty much meets um, the eligibility for Pell. Yes. Um, so how do these students apply for federal financial aid? Well, first off, they need to, if they are less than 24, not married, no children, they're going to need their parents to complete a portion okay. and the student a complete a portion. Okay. Even if you're 23 and you live wow. all by yourself. That's kind of crazy, it isn't it? It is, <laughs> but you're still going to need your parents' to income and tax forms from two years prior. Okay. So two years behind. Two years behind. Not prior. Behind. So under 24 years old, there'll be a portion for the uh, parent parent or guardian, yes. and then they'll complete a, a section also. Yes. yes. And so when a high school student graduates, do they complete um, the FAFSA alone, or do, do their parents have to help them on that? Their parents also need to do their part unless they're married or have a child that's dependent upon them for over 50% of their support. Okay. And are there student loans available at High Plains? There is not. Okay. We are just so small Mm -hmm. that we do not participate in any of the loan programs. Okay. Do other tech centers, do you know, offer that? I think there may be, I think there might be one left in the state of Oklahoma that does participate. And it's the, it's a big one in Oklahoma City. And I honestly, I can't remember. Francis Tuttle or Metro Tech? I think it's Metro Tech. Yeah, and they are large, yes. very big. Because that would take a full, full it person. It does, and they have a staff, that. and yeah. it, in here it's just just, just you. Me. Yeah, that's how we wear many hats yes, at High Plains. Yes, for sure. Um, okay, so um, how are students who are enrolled in the full time day programs at HPTC eligible to participate in work study programs? 
only if they're PAIL eligible. Okay. So they have to qualify under those PAIL guidelines Okay. in order to be a federal work study. Okay. So once they do the FAFSA, that then tells them if they're eligible for Pell Grants. Yes. And then that would kind of also let them know if they're avail- they're eligible for yes. a work study. Yes. And so what is a work study exactly? A work study is a student. It's just like having a real job. We tr- we get it towards your field. We try to. Uh-huh. Some, that, you know, you're in our construction class. Then we're going to have, and you qualify, we're going to have you working with one of our. A, a like our maintenance guys. director and when yes. he's working on projects yes. throughout school yes and, and we, then also i had the privilege to have a work study um the beginning of this year with um, alicia pashtag yes. so she is a was in marketing just recently graduated so she would help me fulfill some of my marketing duties yes. and that was greatly appreciated so yeah that, it's you know we pay we pay the those students just like it's a regular job yeah and yeah. that talk about really good um work experience kind of in between uh, like a trial error see what you like what part of that you know get to actually do an on-the-job kind of a training there yes that's neat um are there any scholarships available to students who want to attend um high plains and what are they if so we do um high plains also call if you are a student that qualified for oklahoma promise that is something that High Plains can – that works at High Plains. It's okay. a scholarship that works at High Plains. It, it didn't used to, wow. but they changed well, it. Well, that is awesome to yes. include them. We have, we have a couple of specific for our uh, practical nurse classes. We have a Ted and Mary Kyle scholarship. Awesome. We have an E.V. Matthews scholarship for okay. our PNs. And so um, those two are specifically just – Practical nursing, nursing, correct? Yes. And that was the Evie Matthews and Ted Kyle. Ted and Mary Ted Kyle. Ted and Mary. Yes. Um, we have the, we have, we participate in like the workforce, the WIA, oh, okay. uh, the Bureau of Indian Affairs. We have a next step scholarship. We, uh, we call it a 13, 14 year scholarship. So four years after your graduation date, if you didn't come your junior or yes. senior year, or you just came your senior year, we'll figure those hours and we'll High Plains will give you the balance of those hours up to 1,050 yes. hours. That is one I feel like many people may not really realize is available and really is beneficial. Very beneficial. Yeah. yeah. You save it, a lot of money yes. that way. Even though our tuition is fairly Still, inexpensive, yes. but if you have For tuition free? waiver and free then you have the pay, yeah. then your, your living expenses for going just went up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. We have uh, Otha Grimes, which is career tech based, which is okay. a, it's a, it's like a trust that the, the career, our state department, there's 20, 29 nine tech centers uh-huh. and all t- 29 receive 10 top students, get us, okay. get a scholarship twice a year. Awesome. Yes. And our OTAG, which is the Oklahoma Tuition and Grant Program is another one that we have, but you have to, that one you have to be qualified for pale so you have to be pale eligible in order to get that and okay. have completed your fafsa by october 1 okay so there are a couple that um anyone can apply for and then there's those ones where you've got to be the pell eligible yes and then once you meet that you've got a couple more options that not just everyone might qualify for yes okay and we've got some new scholarships on the horizon that we've got very Vague details, really, maybe none, but will be coming. Do you think they'll be implemented by next school year? I hope so. As far so. as you know? Okay. I th- and I think they're going to be um, class specific. Yes. And so this is, I, if you all remember the TAP car show we just had, all that, um, every entrance fee went towards the scholarship and um, also from High Gear Repair, I believe, um, with Kim and Rocky Shaw have wanted to do a specific um, scholarship for, I believe, diesel and auto. auto. I, that's what I, that's okay. my understanding. Yes. Yeah. So um, be on the lookout for that info and it'll be specific to those programs if someone's interested. And so that is pretty neat that they've come to us wanting to start that. Yeah, that was really exciting. Yeah, yeah. nice surprise. It was a very nice surprise. Well, Michelle, do you have anything else you want to tell us about um, um, financial aid? I don't. Just everybody needs to complete their FAFSA. Uh-huh. 
And everybody just needs to check out High Plains. Yes, for sure. And then if you have any questions, Michelle is just wonderful. And her office is always open Absolutely. pretty much for questions because I know this is a lot of information and can get confusing. But I'm thankful she's there to help the students. And um, so I thank you, Michelle, for coming. And thank you all for listening. We'll be here next week on 100.1.